Hi, in this video, I will show you how to uh, using the C sharp script uh, to uh, add the actual interactions to your Google uh, Cardboard application. But before we start, I just wanted to uh, explain a little bit about the mechanism behind this. So if you understand this mechanism, you can build any kind of interactions and you can think about what kind of a game uh, and how to interact with this. And that's very simple. Uh, most of the games run like this, okay, just like Unity is to uh, run like this model, okay. The first thing is the player need to do something, okay, so that means that the player will do some actions and uh, the Unities will check if this action has happened and provide some response. And very, very basic interaction model here is the actions, checking, response. Okay, so in Unity, this is will built on top of what we call the event trigger system. So how it works is first, we need to have a game objects within our game and the user will need to do action. Okay, remember we are doing a cardboard application and the cardboard applications have a limited input or actions that user can do. Basically, the user just can move the head and also just a, have a single button on top of the Google Cardboard. So that's the only thing uh, the users can do if uh, this is a Google Cardboard uh, application. But it's still okay. We can using this limited um, um, actions to create game. So uh, this is a very basic. The step, first step is, uh, okay, how many actions the user can do? And if you still remember, uh, we already create a very simple interaction is using a radical. So the radical is actually just like a pointer or a laser and that's point to any objects and it should be aligned with the uh, player uh, head movement. So you can trigger this, all right? And uh, you can touch an object and you can exit the objects and all of this unit is using an event listener to listen to this event and how to do a response okay so this is the core thing of this class is how to respond to a certain action so in unity the simplest way is you write down using a c sharp script all right you just just like a normal program you just write down what you want to do uh, for example i want to uh, have an explode i wanted to be uh kill the enemy or i wanted to do any kind of the response okay play audio you just write down inside a C sharp file. And when the events happen, for example, when the radical touch the objects, I will ask Unity to run that part of the program. So this is what we call the event trigger system. Okay, so if you have no any of the program language experiment before, it doesn't matter. So I just show you very, very basic is to create this response using a C sharp function. And before we write it down, before we go back to Unity, I just explain a little bit. Uh, the script or the C sharp so syntax is a little bit simple, but today we just focus about function. And here is just a basic function. So if you want to define this function, you have to understand there's a several part you need to tell Unity. Uh, the most important thing, of course, is the name. Each function has a name. So you can use any kind of name, but remember uh, that should not be a, a space is not allowed. You should be a single word. Okay, you can use underscore, but most of the time we're just using a single word, maybe camel case like this. And remember, uh, C sharp is a case sensitive. That means uh, the uppercase and lowercase remain two different functions. So the name, you can use any name, just make sure you are not using any reserved keyword, but it doesn't matter, okay? You, you don't need to check the menu, you don't need to check uh, all the uh, 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 menu on the website because they, when you write down or any name that you reserve, you will see your um, uh, co-editor will tell you this name already reserved so you cannot use for the function name. But later, let's see, all right, first, is the name and the second thing is is this functions need any input okay so here's the input okay so if you wanted to do input that means okay I need to pass some value to this function 
And for example, if you do some calculation, of course you need to pass number uh, or you want to show if there's some welcome message, you may need to pass some string. But for this case, I don't need to pass anything for this class. Okay, we just do a very simple thing. So if there is no input, you can just leave this uh, parenthesis as a blank. Okay, so anything within this parenthesis is we call the function input or parameters. And after the function has been executed, sometimes you want to output something and for further process. But uh, how to present this is using uh, one of the reserved area here before the function name, we need to tell Unity, uh, is there any output for this function? So you need to put it is the data type here. Okay, if your output is number, uh, if it is integer, you need to type int here. But for our sample, I just do it very simple. So there's no output. And then you can just using a special keyword here is called a void. That means it's no output. And the most important thing on in the very beginning of this uh, function definition is we call the access modifier. So what's that for? Uh, because uh, C sharp is an object oriented programming. Uh, it's just a term you don't need to take care about that. But every time you define a function, you need to define one important thing is who has the right to call this function. And most of the time we do a very simple and I want other game objects to access so we can set this to public. But if you don't want other game objects to call or execute this function, you can set this to private or protected. There's a lot of different access modifier here. But today we just set a public function. So that means other game objects can call your response. Okay, so this is the basic. All right, so let's go back to Unity to see how this event trigger system work. So I go back to Unity and here is the purest class 5 file. And if I play the game, I already have the basic interactions that the users can do. Uh, for example, head movement. And I also have a cube here. So you, you touch it, you will see the radical will show different uh, feedback or respond uh, to tell the player you touch the cube and that you can do something. So the basic step is already, but uh, there's nothing to happen. All right, even uh, the uh, the pointer is enter to this clip or exit, there's nothing happen. So I want to add some response, okay, for this interaction. So I just stop the game and I just uh, slap the scene, I just duplicate. So I just keep the class five as class five, that this is class six file. Okay, just double click. And I wanted to add something here is I want to add the response. If you still remember, the response is a program. All right, so that means I need to create a program. And in Unity, now most people will start using is a C sharp script. All right, so you need to add this to your project. So I go back here and I want some people, if you're well organized your file, you can create a script folder and put all the script there. Okay, so I already have a script here. I double click. I already have a two C sharp file. You can create a new file by right click here and select create and C sharp script. And the Unity will ask you for the name of this file. And basically this is the name of the class. So remember this is the right point. Um, and all the names should be unique within uh, the same program. But anyway, you can create any kind of a C sharp, okay, any name, okay, just name it, make sure uh, it's a single word and it should be case sensitive. And for most people, we'll start with uppercase. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I just create maybe a C sharp file and you can name it anything. For example, I wanted to do some, uh, the cube, uh, maybe the um, pointer. Okay, so this is my class name. So you can just write down cube pointer and you can using any name. All right, it doesn't matter. All right, so this is the uh, a bland class, okay, or empty class. You just have a class name and you can see the code here. And if you want to modify this code, all right, you can double click and um, the uh, it will open the default. Uh, if you already installed the Visual Studio, it will open Visual Studio. And if you're using any other IDE to do the programming, uh, it will open that corresponding IDE. So uh, if you are new, I suggest you just install Visual Studio. I think it's great. And um, 
you, you just use it all right for your programming and after you open this file this is what we call the basic okay objects or class definition all right you have the uh, class name I right, is the same as the file name is over here it's called a cube pointer and you have a two special uh, functional method here is when it's called a start and this is called update we'll using these two functions for animation later but today I just want to create response okay so response mean when the user do something I want to respond to the user okay so I need to create a response okay so you can see every time if you wanted to write program and you need to make sure your program or method or function should within uh, this curry braces all right this is the scope of your class anything outside will be invalid okay so you need to make sure now I create a class is called a cube pointer and I want to write down all the responses within this class so make sure the responses is within this curry braces and most of the time you will see another curry braces again and next the curry braces again you will see different scope of your program but the outer uh, the first level is important all the methods or functions should within this first level curry braces now for each of the action I need to write the corresponding response so it depends by you you are the designer you are the game developer you tell unity okay uh, which actions you need to respond so I wanted to respond two things for example the pointer when the pointer enter uh, that means the pointer touch the box okay or the pointer touch the cube I want to do this response and I also wanted to respond is when the pointer okay exit the cube all right so this is uh, something that okay in uh, unity this is you can write down okay using two four slash here and this line is called the comments it won't be executed but just help the programmer to understand what's going on so you can write that at least before you can write the actual code It's a good practice most of the time I will ask uh, the student try to write down the steps what you need to do at the very beginning and just fill in your code later so you can have a blueprint at the very beginning and it's easier to follow and it also will help you to avoid any missing uh, methods or functions for your game so I wanted to create two response for this class one is when the pointer that means the radical touch the cube I want to do something but when the radical pointer exit the cube I want to do another thing so that means I need to create two method or function here and I need to do if you have forgot about the format of the function we need a function name we need to tell whether we have input output and the access modifier and all the actions will be within another set of curly braces so I go back to unity I uh, go back to Visual Studio and I will need to write down is the function name first okay and for samples I just wanted to pointer um, um, this is a pointer enter and this is the my function name and I don't have any input so the uh, parenthesis you still need to provide a parenthesis but you just leave it blank and output void that means no output and the access modifier is a public all right so this pointer enter can be called or uh, by all the game objects within unity so I set it public and the actual thing we need to do should be within these curve braces and this is the function definition okay within this class I already define a response or a methods that will respond to point to enter I haven't linked it back to unity just create a space that I can enter anything will happen this is the actual response and I do it again for the exit so it's up to you all right how many uh, methods you need to create you can create infinity methods or function within a class but uh, now I just uh, one actions map uh, to one function so I just create two one for pointer uh, enter and one for pointer exit 
so this is the second uh, methods all right so done okay I will create two methods for uh, to respond to event and I need to de design what I need to do okay so I just write down I want to change the color of the cube um, maybe to blue and when the X is I want to change the color uh, of the cube to white all right the same thing is just write down what I need to do and then I need to if you have no idea okay how to write this you just write down and then you go back to the internet and search the corresponding code there's lots of code sample out there uh, that will help you but uh, I think you need to write down what you need to do uh, will be easier for you to follow and check okay what code you need and uh, what example you need so I just do a very simple color so I just copy the code from my uh, previous C sharp I just place here so if you don't understand this is fine okay so this code just uh, change the color of any of the game objects especially for 3d objects of a material add to blue all right so this code will change the color of the game objects to blue that's it all right so for the white we do the same thing but I just copy this line and place here and this should be white color all right so that's it all right I already have two methods one is for pointer enter and one is for pointer uh, exit I forgot so some typo error so remember okay so typo error here but anyway here is the code and I can go back to unity and to link this respond to the corresponding event now I just double check okay everything is fine okay I just save the file okay so this is cube pointer .cs will be updated and if I go back to the unity and here it's the cube pointer and you will see the codes already there so what you need to do is this is the responses and it won't be executed if you not map to any of the event so now I will show you how to map this to the event and basically if you do a Google Cardboard uh, especially using the Google uh, GVR SDK there's a several thing okay or a limited event that you can do is of a pointer I already have that for the cube I just go to the cube here slide the cube and here is the event trigger already added and you can see every time you add it you will see all this five pointer enter pointer exit down up and click is the action that unities can recognize so you can base on this to map to any of the C sharps program or method so now I already add the pointer enter here and pointer exit but now it's empty that means unities will check this event but nothing's will do okay even the events will happen but of course you can see the circle will have some feedback for the user you attach the curve or you exit the curve but now I just add is the C sharp all right how to map this is just drag your C sharp file all right the C sharp file is the one I just write down in the visual studio have two method and this method is called a public and the file name or function name is called a pointer enter and pointer exit and that's it so I go back here drag this cube pointer to the cube okay so you can drag to the cube or you can drag to the inspector it's up to you so I drag to the cube here and then so you will see uh, the unity will add the C sharp script component to this cube so you can using this public function all right so how to map this is you go back to the event trigger and I already have two event added that means unity will listen to this event one is called the pointer enter and the other is called a pointer exit and now it's empty so I need to add the response okay to this list and then after you click the plus icon you will have a placeholder for your C sharp file all right so this is the objects nothing to do but now I can drag this C sharp to this pull down menu and that means I can call any public functions within this C sharp so for the pointer enter I want to change the cube to blue 
So I need to search the corresponding functions that I defined it in Visual Studio. So after you drag the script to this pull down menu, the functions pull down menus will be enabled and you can select the cube pointer class and inside you will find two public methods or function I defined is called the pointer enter and pointer exit. So I select corresponding pointer enter and I do the same thing for the pointer exit event. Click the plus, drag the C sharp file and select keep pointer and pointer exit. So now the Unity will link the C sharp script with the corresponding event. All right, so let's test it what happens. If we click the play button and I just want to using the head movement, it, it will rotate, okay, the wall, okay. But if you touch, you can see the color will change to blue. And if you exit, you will see the color will change to white. So this is the basic interactions plus the response. So if you have this, you can do any kind of a simple game. Think about what kind of action or response you want to do and search internet for the sample code. But of course, you need to create the corresponding method or function within the class and then you link it up inside the event trigger um, component. So this is how we work, okay? And if I click the button, what happened? All right, so let's add one more is when the user press the button, uh, I want to kill this cube, all right? Maybe this is your enemy, okay? I want to kill it. So there's a several thing. Uh, if you want to do that, you need one more response. So go back to your C sharp. And here it's uh, the C sharp and I need to create one more response. So I create one more response to uh, the pointer click event. All right, so and then I create a another uh, pointer click. All right, so it's a function name. And this is uh, um, the pointer click function names, no input and no output and still set it to public. So any objects can call this method. And what I need to do, okay, I want to queue uh, the enemy. Okay, but basically I just want to remove this cube. So you can using one special function is called the destroy and uh, you can call this game objects and to uh, basically uh, just remove this, okay, from uh, your game. So uh, it's a game objects, and I just wanted to game objects here and destroy it, okay, and that is the uh, basic things that you can, okay, it should be this one is the game objects. All right, so this destroy function is very simple. Just kill this class, so uh, there's no more clip within the game, all right? So if you are, your cube is an enemy, you can using your button to kill this enemy. So I save it and go back to the Unity and do the linking again. So I'll go back to Unity. And then I need to add one more event for the cube. And uh, here I can add this, uh, is this time it's called a pointer click. And scroll down, drag the C sharp, okay, already there, okay. And you can go to the cube pointer and find the corresponding pointer uh, click method. Okay, so if I play the game, so you can uh, move around, okay, when you touch it, change color, exits, change back to white, and if you click it, the cube is gone. All right, so you can see it's gone. Okay, there's no cube anymore. All right, so if you want to do a game, this is the first step. All right, maybe this cube is your enemy, maybe it's a ghost, maybe any other things you want to happen. But now you will know that basically very simple uh, way to link this uh, events to your uh, trigger is to write a C sharp class and then add all the responses within this class and map it in the unity and that's it. All right, so remember the pointer 
uh, or the Google uh, SDK will provide all these point events for you. Uh, enter, exit, click. And we still have it to up and down. Okay, it depends on what kind of interaction or what kind of the uh, detail interaction you want to check or response. But basically, I think for most of the simple Google Cardboard game, uh, the point to enter, exit, and click is more than enough. But remember, you need to write a C sharp for that. Okay, so that's for today's class. And I will show more interactions in the next video.